Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis. I'm back. And today I'm going to be bringing you the all new for 2016-2017 Google Sites tutorial. Um, I've had such an awesome uh, number of views on, on my old uh, Google Sites video, I decided to go ahead and make a new one. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just give you a simple run through of how to get a website up and running using the new Google Sites. Uh, it is a change, but it's not going to be impossible, and I think if we work on this, we can do this together. So here we go. Go ahead and get yourself uh, signed into your uh, Google account, okay, for starters. Get myself logged in. Now, these are the previous sites that I've uh, created before, and I think you would have seen these if you watched my old uh, How to Create a Google Site video. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Create. Now, this time, when you click on Create, you have an option to create in Classic Sites or New Sites. Highly recommend that you create in new sites because at some point eventually the classic sites will have to be migrated over to new sites and or they will be deleted. So let's go to in new sites. Now again, I'm just going to take you through a run through of the basic feature features. Uh, we're just going to get a couple pages uploaded. I'm going to talk about what these things do on the screen that you're looking at. Uh, you know, essentially you have the same tools that you had before. Um, but now there's just a slightly different layout and there's a lot more on the collaboration side that they're putting into uh, this version of the Google Sites, which is great. So let's, this is what happens when you open up the new sites. Okay, you're going to come to this type, of, uh, this type of a layout. Top right corner over here, you got themes, so you can change the overall theme of your page if you want to. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, I spent about 5 or 10 minutes working on the new Google Sites. As soon as it popped up, on my screen, I knew I had to get this video out for you guys. Okay, I wanted to get this out there so you could get busy and start making your own web page. So I'm going to go off with the uh, simple layout. Okay, you can kind of choose your color scheme overall if you want to. Okay, very simple. Uh, right here, we've got your font style, so you can go light, classic, or heavy. I'm just going to go just default light is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and give our page a title. We need to call our website something, our web page something. So I'm going to call this my. Mustang. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a really quick website dedicated to my 1991 Mustang GT that I sold a few years ago. Unfortunately, I had to let her go. But uh, anyway, I can still keep her memories living on on the internet, right? So once you put this in here under your title, you've got a few options. Okay, You've got uh, different uh, size text that you can go with, title heading, subheading, uh, normal text size, okay, title size, and so on. Uh, you've also got your justification center. Uh, right, I'm sorry, left, center, right, and uh, center justified down the middle, okay? Uh, right here, you can link this text to another website. You can put the text right here as well as the link down below. And so when somebody clicks on that link, it'll take you someplace else. Okay, you've also got the trash can where you can make that go away if you make a mistake on it. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is go ahead, well, you know what, let's talk about some of the features. You can use this to undo the last action in case you make a mistake. Uh, you can click up here to go ahead and give your site a, uh, your website a name. I'm going to call it My Awesome 1991 Mustang GT Website. Uh, you've got a preview mode where you can actually see it kind of in a live view so you can see what it would look like if you're actually online, and I'll do that for you before we get done. Right here you can add editors. I haven't even tried this enough to know. Uh, supposedly you can do editing in real time with other people, which would be great because before like you'd have to work on a page, hit save, and then the other person would jump in and hit save. When you're done, you're going to hit publish. We'll do that and see what happens. Under more, you can actually use analytics to see uh, how many people are visiting your website, which is really cool. If you do any advertising on your website, you can sign up with Google and get all that taken care of. Send feedback, help, take a tour. Okay, as we go across to the top here, you can insert a text box on any of the pages, images, you can upload to it, you can embed a URL if you want to. You've also got options to include folders uh, from Drive, you can embed YouTube videos, you can put a calendar on it, pretty much whatever you want to add on any of your pages, you have this uh, simple uh, set of icons that will do it for you. You can import from Google Docs slides, you can integrate these uh, different documents and items into the pages themselves for a much uh, cleaner uh, installation. Uh, over here on pages, again, this is where you're going to click if you want to add another page, and we'll go ahead and do that. And then again, we've got your themes if you want to try a different looking theme. They've got some really nice themes. They've definitely upgraded. And as we all know, Google Sites was, was definitely due for an overhaul. And just for the record, this the Google Sites are all free. You don't have to pay for anything for them. So yes, you can launch your website and get it up and running. Uh, no type at all. No time at all. So we're going to go ahead and change the image. We're going to go ahead and upload a, a picture of my uh, Ford Mustang that I used to drive. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go? We'll go to 
you've got your albums, and I just have some profile pics in here. Uh, we're going to go to Upload, select a file from your computer. Now, I've got some pictures on standby, and so we're going to go ahead and upload one of the photos. I want to go ahead and make that the main photo on my web page. Click on Open. Okay, it's going to go ahead and upload the photo. There you go. There's a picture of my uh, old Ford Mustang. And so anyway, there it is. You can also go back and undo that if you want to. You can reset it if you're not happy with how it looks. But, you know, I like that. That looks really cool. That's neat. Uh, let's see, what does this say? Remove readability adjustment. Again, there's so many different ways you can tweak this if you want to. I'm just showing you the basics so you can get yourself a website up and running. And then from there, you can pretty much tweak it however you want to. All right, so for pages, let's go ahead and check out. Uh, let's go ahead and add a page to it. We're going to call this uh, More Picks as in more pictures. Okay, we're going to say done. Okay, now here's the more pics page. Okay, it's now generating that page for me. Okay, it's very simple. Header type, okay. Large banner, sure, why not? Oh, maybe how about just a banner? That's better. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now I want to go ahead and let's put a photo down below, okay, because I want to put another picture up here. So, uh, insert an image, select from my computer, and I'll choose another picture that I have here. It should be a different picture. They're going to look the same. They were taken at the, at the uh, same car show. So it's going to put it on a queue. We click on Upload. And there it is. Now what's really cool about this is you can just simply drag it over and move the picture however you want to. And when you do it, you see you got these little lines here that kind of help you center the picture wherever you want to put it. Uh, you've also got that menu like we had seen before. Okay, uh, We can crop the picture. You can uncrop the picture. You can link the picture to another website if you want to. You can go ahead and delete the, the tile if you don't want it. Okay, more editing options. You can add text and also replace images. Okay, so you also have this option too. Okay, uh, so anyway, just to show you, these are just a few of the things that you can do to get this, uh, get this website up and running. Again, if you just want to type some more text, you can click on text box and you can just put something underneath of it. Uh, let's put, I purchased this car in... Oh, gee, what year was it? 2006, I believe. Okay, I'm all done with that. We're going to go ahead and just uh, leave it as is. There's, that's where the text is. And maybe we'll want to go ahead and center that. Is that going to center for me? No, not yet. Okay. So like I said, guys, I'm still figuring this out uh, with, with many of you, too, as we run through this. But I just want to simply want to show this to you so you can see how you can get this up and running. Got some options over here. Section background, and you can also delete the section if you want to. I don't know, let's just click on some stuff and see what happens. All right, you can put some tone behind it. There we go. Add a little bit of bold to it if we want to. Kind of spiff it up a little bit. And if I wanted to say uh, embed a video of my car, possibly, okay, I could also embed the video on this page. You can simply uh, search the video, okay? And you can also put in a address for a YouTube video, and then from there it would embed the video on the web page for you. Um, again, I'm trying to keep this as short and sweet as I possibly can. So this is my second page that I created. More pics of my car. This is very cool. Uh, go back to pages. We want to go back to home. And let's see, what kind of options do we have here? Oh, we could rename the page if we want to. So if I'm not happy with it, I have that option. I could then set my second page as my home page, rename it, or remove the page from the side if I don't like it. Uh, let's see, left side over here. It's just simply a click. You can click on the tab. And again, if I wanted to add a, a third page, I would just simply click right here. Oh, and it also adds your quick links across the top too, okay? And so you can get to more pics or you can go right back home if you want to. All right, so quickly what we're going to do is just uh, go ahead. I've gone back to my home page now. Uh, I think what we'll do is just go ahead and uh, do a live view so we can see what it looks like as we preview it. And there you go. You've got your preview mode. You can see how big the picture is and how awesome it looks. Okay, we can click over on more pics. We can see this page. Okay, it does give you a nice full size. I'm sure you can get into the code and uh, do some CSS background stuff if you want to or really start to mess with the uh, HTML if that's what you want to do, which is really cool. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, take it back. You know, I like that. I'm happy with it. I think we'll go ahead and go with it for now. And again, uh, like I said, anytime you want to insert any of these other items, you can do so. Uh, if you check out my old video on how to create a Google site, a lot of these items are going to be the same. You know, you can install a file if you want to from Drive. You can embed a file if you want to. Uh, you've got your Drive folder that'll pop up for Google Drive. 
And again, I don't have a lot on this particular email address that I'm using because I just tend to use this for YouTube videos. So there you go. If I want to put more images, I can do that too. So they're giving you lots of flexibility. Uh, and again, it's not, I mean, they're really trying to simplify it as much as they can. Um, you know, unfortunately, even I myself, I'm going to have to migrate some of my own uh, work uh, websites over too. So we'll get that done. But uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and publish it. And the uh, published window to pop up here. And we'll put in uh, my... Ford Mustang GT. We'll click on publish. And now it's publishing. Like I said, I didn't check that out before. It says your site's been uh, published successfully. Successfully, I can now view that. And there's the website. There it is. And if I want to edit it, uh, looks like I can just click on the little pencil down here. I can create a new site. I can go back into editor mode. There you go. As long as I'm log logged into my Google account, I can check it out. So again, guys, I uh, probably should have checked that out beforehand. So uh, you do have some publish options too once you do get it published. So there you go. Publish settings, view the published site, and unpublish if I don't want somebody to see it. And again, the whole add editors option is really cool. Um, you can add somebody's email address and add them as an editor. You can make them the owner. Uh, you can make them the editor. You can make them just for a viewer only if you want to share it. Uh, and so on. So there you go. You got lots of options, guys. All right. So anyway, uh, thanks again for that. I apologize for that little uh, mishap about three, three fourths of the way through the video there. Like I said, that published thing kind of threw me off. So anyway, have fun. Take care, guys. Uh, be safe and we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.